So what is the best choke tube for Apex Waterfowl TSS? Well, today we're gonna find out. George here with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel, and the best podcast that you don't listen to yet, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. And today we are gonna try to find the best choke tube to use for the Apex TSS waterfowl load. All right, we have tested some Apex turkey loads in the past and they have been outstanding. And today we're gonna look at their TSS waterfowl. Now this is a three inch shell with one ounce of number nine TSS shot going at 1500 feet per second. It is a mean load, no doubt about it. Now, why might you want to use this load? Well, number one reason I can think of is you want to try to extend your range a little bit. You want a little bit more power at range. You want to be able to punch out a little further, whether that's for ducks or for geese or whatever the case may be. This is not a load I think I would probably use at short range just because everything works at short range. The, for the what you're going to spend on this load, it makes a great, well, at least we'll see if it makes a great option for some long range shots. These TSS shells come in at 18 GCC density. That is more than double the density of steel. It is significantly more than the density of lead. This is some really potent stuff right here. I have seen the turkey loads using these pellets do some unbelievable things. Things, but we're gonna see what the waterfowl loads can do. To test those, I've got six different choke tubes today. First, I've got a set of Carlson's choke tubes. These are Carlson's sporting clays. We've got the modified, full, and extra full choke tubes. And we are also gonna test some Muller choke tubes. Now Muller doesn't use the same conventions for naming and constriction. They've got theirs labeled as decoy, passing, and UFO for way out there. Now I've used the UFO choke tube quite a bit for turkey ammo, and it has worked very nicely with the Apex TSS number nine turkey loads. But we'll see how all of these choke tubes do today with the waterfowl version of the load. Now we're gonna shoot these from 40 yards through my Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel. I'm gonna fire one shot through each choke tube. Why just one? Because this ammo is not cheap and I wanna try to save some to do some other test videos. Several of you guys have requested this video. In fact, this is one of the most hotly viewer requested videos of the past year. And one of you guys actually sent me this box of ammo to do the video. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You're helping make these videos possible. All right, let's head down to the range and see what we can learn. I am down at the range. I got my eye protection. I got my Tetras in for ear protection. Need to let you guys know that normally I like to shoot at reactive targets that look like a duck. But in trying to find those targets for this test shoot, I found that the internet was completely and utterly sold out of reactive duck targets to the point where not even the people that make them have them in stock. So instead I have some circle reactive targets that are about the size of a duck and those will work just fine for this kind of patterning. Just so you guys are clear, we never count the pellets on the reactive target. We find the densest part of the pattern, draw a 30 inch circle and count the pellets in that circle. The reactive target just makes it visually interesting. All right, we've got our modified choke tube and we've got our TSS number nines. Now let's go ahead and take the first shot. All right, let me swap chokes and we'll do it again. Now we've got the full choke tube. All right, another choke and two more pieces of paper. I now have the extra full choke tube screwed on and let's do one more. All right, let's change it again. And next up, we have the Muller decoy choke. All right, two more pieces of paper and two more chokes. And next, the Muller passing choke. And you guys don't know how much work this is, putting this paper up, taking it down, swapping these choke tubes out. Wow. All right, let's do it.
One more choke and we're done. And last, but certainly not least, the Muller UFO choke tube, which I've become very fond of for turkey hunting. Works really good with TSS in turkey loads. How will it do with waterfowl TSS? Time to find out. All right, we're gonna go check on these guys, but first I need to let you know nobody is sponsoring this video, so I'd ask you to please support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you like videos like this, field test reviews, kicking the tires on assumptions, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. All right, let's go see how we did. I have all this paper laid out, it's a lot of holes in it. We are gonna do three sets of three. We're gonna start first with the traditional ones. Now guys, I'm gonna breeze through these pretty quickly. Of course, you could rewind, but I'm gonna count them all and give you guys the actual data at the end and a chart. All right, let's jump in. First, we have the modified choke tube. Good pattern, a little bit high and left. Then we have the TSS full choke, good pattern left also on this one then we've got the tss extra full very tight pattern left there now we've got the molars tss decoy wow that's basically a cylinder bore then we have the passing choke that's pretty much improved cylinder and then the ufo that looks pretty similar to the full choke all right, very interesting results here. I'm gonna count all these, but first let me ask you guys to please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Every one of these giant sheets of paper, reactive targets, this ammo, all this stuff costs money, and I really appreciate your support to help making these videos and make them better and make the videos that you guys request. All right, let's get to the data. This test was a lot of fun for me to do right up until I had to start counting pellets. And then I realized I had to count like 1,300 or 1400 pellets to get this data for you guys and wow that was a lot of pellets but i do it because i love you guys now before we jump to the data i want to let you guys know that my intention here is not to compare these brands of choke tubes i just so happen to have all these choke tubes and they're rated for tss ammo so we're trying to see what happens but let's take here a look at the information we can see that the modified choke tube 310 pellets in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards that is mind-blowing all right that is like turkey ammo the full 312 pellets the extra full 291 pellets now it's going down to extra full by a few pellets but there are so many there you could lose a hundred or two hundred it wouldn't even matter the number of pellets here is just out of this world 86 80 six and 80 percent pattern efficiency then we look at the Muller choke tubes we can see that the decoy in the passing just did not like this ammo 68 pellets on the decoy and 109 pellets on the passing so what that tells me is those are basically functioning like an open cylinder choke now 109 is still plenty pellets uh, to take down a duck but what i can tell you is those two chokes at least out of this gun are probably best for short range if you're going to be calling them in much closer now the ufo very respectable 258 pellets more than you need 71 percent pattern efficiency now which one of these choke tubes is the best choke tube for this ammo well it depends on what you want to do and how you're going to hunt all right if i was hunting at regular range Ranges, I would probably go with the Muller UFO choke. 71% is more than you need. It is absolutely overkill at 40 yards and is certainly going to punch out a little bit further. But if I was going for long range, I would use either the modified or the full and crank it all the way up there to 86% pattern efficiency. I've done some turkey videos testing number nine TSS out to 60 yards in ballistics gel and found it was more than enough to do the job at that range but that ammo is going a lot slower 1190 feet per second this stuff is 1500 feet per second so I bet this thing could crank out well past 70 yards and still have more than enough power to drop a duck or to drop a goose and maybe we will do that test here in the future but speaking of tests you guys should check this one out right here where I test the number nine TSS against some number six lead and then you can check out this video right here where I expose the truth and the lies of tungsten ammunition guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you till next time god bless you and go get them in the woods